Hi, welcome to the series Maths is Easy, Maths is Fun. In this video, we'll start exploring basic concepts of probability. As the word suggests, probability, it means measuring chance of something happening. We have to remember some basic concepts of probability. Probability, lowest value. The lowest value of probability is zero. It can never be anything below that. Probability equal to zero means chance or odds that a particular event will occur are zero. That event cannot happen. Example, what is the probability that the February of a calendar year will have the date 30th? Zero. Because February, under normal circumstances, will have 28 days and 29 days in case of a leap year. But February never has 30 days. At the other end of the spectrum, the highest value that probability can have is 1. It means this particular event will definitely happen. What is the probability that the sun will rise in the east or the sun will set in the west? No matter which part of the globe you live in, the sun always rises in the east and the sun always sets in the west. It is always going to happen. Chances or odds of this happening 100%. Hence, probability is 1. So, the lowest value of probability will always be 0. The highest value of probability will always be 1. And for other events or chances, it will be somewhere in between. Some of the most common examples when we are dealing with problems related to probability. Tossing of a coin. A coin is tossed. What is the probability that it will land with heads up? So let's break this problem down. We said probability is odds of an event happening. So first we'll take something known as the sample space. The sample space is all possible outcomes in this particular event. So when you toss a single coin, there are two possible outcomes. Either it would be heads up or it would be tails up. So your sample size is two when you're taking one coin. And the event that you're looking for is, what is the probability that you will get heads up? So that number of instances that can happen is one. So what is the probability of getting heads on a single toss of a coin? One divided by two, where two is the sample space and one is the number of instances where this specific event can occur. So the probability is one upon two or 50%. Another common example we always come across in problems related to probability is you know, throwing of the dice. The dice we use for playing Ludo or Monopoly or business etc. So a dice is thrown. What is the probability that the face up is an even number? As usual, the first thing we take into account is the sample space. Now we know a normal die has four faces and each face has numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what can we say about sample space? There are six possible outcomes when one die is rolled. So your sample space is six. We are looking for the odds that the number will be even 2, 4, 6. So how many instances do we have where the even number condition can be satisfied? 3. Sample space 6. So the probability that when a die is thrown once, the end result will be an even number is 3 upon 6 equal to half. Another variant in this, let's tweak this, I just want to give you an example. A single die is cast. What is the probability that the number you get is a prime number? Okay, 
Sample space is going to remain unchanged because you have one die. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Sample space, six outcomes. These are the only six outcomes that can be there. Specifically, you are looking for a prime number. The dice has faces one, two, three, four, five, six. Which are the prime numbers out of these? Two, three, five. So the odds that this particular event can take place, you have three possible instances out of a total sample space of six. So the probability is again three upon six. So the probability that when you cast a single die once, the face up is a prime number is half. One more example with single dice being thrown. A single die is cast. What is the probability that the number will be a multiple of five? Sample space remains unchanged. There are six outcomes in this multiples of five. The numbers we have are one, two, three, four, five, six. How many are divisible by five? Only one, five. So in terms of number of instances, one. So the probability that when a single die is cast once, we get the result as a multiple of five is one upon six. And another common variant in problems related to probability are playing cards. You know, typically a standard deck of playing cards will have 52 cards starting from the ace, ace, two, three, four, going all the way up to king. And you have four different signs. You have the hearts, diamonds, spades and clubs. Each of these will have 13 cards, 13 fours are 52. So you have a deck of fair cards, spades 13, hearts 13, diamond 13, clover or club 13. Of these, spades and clubs are black cards, hearts and diamonds are red cards. So we have 26 red cards, 26 black cards. Then we have the concept known as face cards, the jack, the queen and the king. These are known as face cards. So there are some problems that come into variations like these. So you have a standard deck of cards. What is the probability that the card drawn will be a red card? As we mentioned earlier, hearts and diamonds. These are the two signs that have red color. So how many cards in all? 13 of each sign, 26. So the probability that a card is a red card is 26. Number of instances possible for that particular event upon 52 total sample space is half. Let me tweak this problem a little further. What is the probability that the card you pick up will be a face card. We have four signs and each of these four signs will have these cards. So there are 12 face cards in all. Sample space remains 52. So the probability that the card drawn will be a face card is three fours up, 12 upon, so these are the 12 instances possible upon 52, the sample space. So 12 upon 52, you just simplify that and that is the probability that the card drawn will be a face card. Thank you.